Hey everyone and welcome back to another easy Excel tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to merge or combine tables in Excel with multiple criteria. So to explain to you what I mean by that, you can see here we have a table of names, first names and last names, and in column C here, this is where we want to pull in the phone number. The problem is our phone numbers are stored in another table over here. And if we add some conditional formatting, we can see that we have some duplicate values in our table, multiple Janes, multiple Johns, Amy's, and so forth. So if I go to look up Jane here, then I want to ensure that we're getting the correct Jane. So you can see here that we have a Jane King and we have a Jane Smith. In our table over here, we have a Jane Smith. So how do we ensure when we do our VLOOKUP that we're pulling the phone number for Jane Smith and not Jane King? What we have to do is create a unique identifier. So to do that, I'm just going to create another column over here. We'll call that helper column. And all I'm going to do is combine our first name with our last name to create that unique identifier that we need. So I'll just hit equals. I'll click our first name. I'll put an and sign and our last name. And you can see here, we now have the first name combined with the last name. We need to do the same for this table over here. So I'll just add a column, call that helper column as well. So now that we have our unique identifier in both tables, it's just a matter of going back to our main table and we're just going to do a simple VLOOKUP to pull in our phone number. So equals VLOOKUP. This is the value that we want to look up. We're going to look it up in this table over here. Select these three columns. We're going to return the third column. And you can see here, now we've pulled in our phone numbers. So to ensure that it's working properly, you can see that for Jane Smith, we have phone number ending in 3210. And in this table over here, for Jane Smith, we also have phone number ending in 3210. So we know that it's pulling the correct Jane, Jane Smith, and our formula is working as expected. So that's how you can combine or merge tables in Excel using multiple criteria, using a helper column combined with a VLOOKUP formula. But now I'm going to show you a much easier way of doing it using Power Query. As usual, the first thing we need to do is import our data into Power Query. So to do that, we'll just go to our data tab, click from table or range. So you can see we've imported our first table. Let's close and load that to a connection only for now. We still need to import our other table. To do that, we'll go over to our other tab, data, from table or range. And now you can see that we have table one and table two in our Power Query editor. Next step is we're going to quickly merge our tables together using two lookup values. So to do that, we're going to go to table one. We're going to click Merge Queries. In this drop down here, we're going to select table two. And now we just need to tell Power Query how we want it to merge the tables. We want to do it based on first name and last name. So I'm going to click name here. Holding the control button on my keyboard, I'll click last name. And you can see it's added a little one and a little two over here. And we'll do the same here. First name, hold control on your keyboard and click last name. So now we've told Power Query that this is how we want to merge the two tables together using the combination of name, first name, and last name. Let's go ahead and click OK. Click this button here and you can select the fields that you want to bring in. In this case, we want to bring in our phone number. Let's go ahead and close and load. And you can see right away that it's working as expected for Jane Smith. We have phone number ending in 3210. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Merge and Power Query, check out this other video I've linked on the screen. And if you have any ideas for my next video, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.